Hey everyone! In this video, we'll be taking a look at the three most popular relational databases. MySQL versus PostgreSQL versus SQL Server. Our database developers will share their experience to help you make a wise choice. On this channel, we share our best practices, delivering insights in the tech industry. Subscribe now not to miss our new videos. MySQL is a definite leader among SQL solutions. Used by Google, LinkedIn, Amazon, Netflix, and Twitter. Our next competitor is PostgreSQL, known for supporting a lot of data types and rich functionality. And finally comes SQL Server. Unlike PostgreSQL and MySQL, SQL Server is a commercial solution. Let's take a look at their functionality. Let's start our review by analyzing their defragmentation capabilities. It means unifying the updated database by assigning indexes, revisiting the structure, and creating new pages. MySQL and SQL Server offer more of the defragmentation methods that PostgreSQL does. They consume less CPU and provide more flexible settings. Two, data queries. Let's take a look at how the systems cache and process user requests. MySQL and SQL Server offer a scalable buffer pool to pull cache. PostgreSQL isolates processes by treating them as a separate OS process. If your priority is to save resources and storage, we recommend choosing MySQL or SQL Server. If you prefer clear organization, PostgreSQL is better. 3. Temporary Tables They allow storing intermediate results from complex procedures to improve database performance. MySQL offers limited functionality for temporary tables. PostgreSQL and SQL Server offer a lot more functionality. You can divide temporary tables into local and global and configure them with flexible variables. If we develop software that runs a lot of complex processes, we go for either PostgreSQL or SQL Server. 4. Indexes They are used to locate data without searching for a particular row. MySQL organized indexes in tables and clusters. The search isn't highly flexible. PostgreSQL offers a flexible search. However, the early versions don't include automated index updates. SQL Server offers rich automated functionality for index management. 5. Memory Optimized Tables Such a table is stored in active memory and on the disk space in a simplified way. MySQL supports the memory stored table but it can't participate in transactions, and its security is highly vulnerable. Actually, we also recommend comparing MySQL and MongoDB. We have a guide on the topic. Check out the description box. PostgreSQL doesn't support in-memory database creation. SQL Server uses an optimistic strategy to handle memory-optimized tables, which means they can participate in transactions along with ordinary tables. Actually, Memory optimized tables are best set up in MySQL. It's basically their native approach. We don't think it's an essential database feature, but still, a good way to improve performance. Do you agree? Drop your comment under the video. 6. Ecosystem MySQL is part of the Oracle ecosystem. It's the biggest SQL database on the market with a large open source community. You will easily find tools for database management, monitoring, optimization, and learning. The PostgreSQL community offers a lot of tools for software scaling and optimization. The integrations allow developers to perform clustering, integrating AI, and cover many other essential features. SQL Server is highly compatible with Windows and all Microsoft OS and tools. SQL Server ecosystem is oriented towards large infrastructures. 7. Popularity MySQL is the most demanded database on the market, which means finding competent teams, learning resources, reusable libraries, and ready add-ons will be easy. As a conclusion, when we prioritize flexibility, cost efficiency, and innovation, we choose open source solutions like MySQL or PostgreSQL. For enterprise projects, we go for SQL Server for its extensive infrastructure and professional management tools. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We provide software development, UI UX design, and IT consulting services. Need experts help? 
Find our contacts in the description box. On this channel, we share our experience and insights. Actually, we are sharing our surprising experience of using Cassandra and MongoDB soon. So make sure you subscribe not to miss it. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like it and hit the bell button.